This here is the brand new Perix Ergo 535 split keyframe mechanical keyboard with three different switch options. And we'll talk more about these different options and which one of these that might be the best fit for you. But we'll do that in just a minute. Perix and their products has kind of been on my radar ever since I started looking for an ergonomic left hand mouse. And believe me, these things are not that common and they're very, very difficult to find. So when I came across the Perix 718 and 719, I bought both of those and the 718 turned out to be my daily driver now for about 18 months. So it was kind of a pleasant surprise to find myself on Perix's radar when they reached out and asked me if I wanted to try their new keyboard. Apart from the ergonomic split keyframe, this keyboard also offers a two-stage reverse tilt. Now, this is something for all of you out there that likes to alternate between standing and sitting down while typing. Another nice feature, or maybe it's more of a touch, is the 1.8 meter long braided cable. Now, this cable, and I'm a huge fan of braided cables, should be long enough to fit most setups out there. The onboard key customization lets you create complex key actions and it also lets you remap different keys on both Windows and Mac computers. Now, this can be done on the keyboard itself with no need of any softwares and for that you're using these tiny little buttons up here. But there is a software available, unfortunately that's only available for Windows computers at this time. Now let's talk about those switch options. When you're buying a keyboard like this, or maybe you're more interested in the more compact 10 keyless version, you're gonna have three different switch options to choose from. Now, these switches are gonna affect how the keyboard sounds and feel when you're typing on it. So the first option is gonna be the red linear switch. And this switch it's gonna be the quietest, quietestest, and the smoothest switch out of these three. And this is gonna be perfect if you're working in a public environment, or if you don't wanna disturb people around you. Or maybe you're someone like me, like a creator, doing a lot of video and audio recording, and you don't want too much of that clickety-clack in your audio. The second switch option is gonna be the brown, and that's gonna give you a more tactile experience, and it's also gonna be fairly quiet. Unlike the third option, which is the blue switch, and this switch is gonna give you the most tactile and clickety-clacky experience out of these three. Now, here in my studio, I have the one with the red switches, and just to give you an extra little sample of how the sounds if I were to do a live stream or a podcast. Here's a sh short sample for you. Yeah. So ergonomic keyboards can look a bit weird at first or almost a bit intimidating. And I've never used or owned an ergonomic keyboard before. So this has been kind of a new experience for me and also quite a bit of a learning curve, but I. I totally get it, that's way more comfortable. So I will do my best to kind of stick to this workstation and this keyboard whenever I'm writing scripts or that kind of stuff. However, there are some occasions where this split keyframe have been more of a hindrance than a benefit. And that's mainly when I'm doing things like photo or video editing. When I'm editing, I operate my mouse with one hand and the other hand, executes different keyboard shortcuts on my keyboard. So in those cases, I've actually found my old kind of Neanderthal keyboard to be the one that I prefer. But for anything type related, I'm gonna stick to this one. Now, if you wanna know more about this keyboard, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video. And that link is gonna take you to the Perix store. We can find any additional information. You can listen to the audio samples and compare the different key switches for as long as you want. Now, this is an affiliate link, so if you decide to purchase anything, I will earn a small commission, but it won't cost you any extra. Now, with that said, here's a video about the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. Now, thank you for watching, bye.